the southeast edge of Elephantine Island lies the ruins of a fortress belonging to the Old Kingdom, and to the west of the pier, the remainings of a temple can be seen attached to the river wall. This temple was built by the Roman Emperor Trajan by using the blocks of the ruined buildings, for we see cartouches bearing the names of King Tutmose III and Tutmose IV and Ramesses III on the stones and the columns. The temple is attached to the Nilometer, where the old fortress's ruins are. The Nilometer is reached by going down the steps that descend from the temple above. They were connected to the Nilometer in the old times, and both these steps and the tunnel that runs all the way to the river were topped with a granite ceiling. As for the rest of the building, sandstone was used in its construction. The roof has gone completely, and all the stairs are exposed. The priests of the temple used to put marks at the levels of the annual inundation on the walls beside the steps. By time, this place became the official measuring place according to which the Egyptian taxation system was formed. During the Greek period, the marks were made in Greek and Demotic handwriting, but when the Nilometer was rediscovered in 1822, Arabic alphabets were used. It was 1870 when Mahmoud Bey reused this ancient Nilometer. He was a prominent Egyptian astronomer, and he placed local alabaster pallets over the interior walls of the Nilometer where the levels were inscribed. According to the ancient beliefs about the sources of the Nile, they lie between the mountains of Aswan and the island of Elephantine. One mountain is called Krofi, and the other is Mufi. That's where the Nile god Habi stays with two jars in his hands. One jar pours water towards the north, and the other towards the south. His cave is protected by the cobra, and exists underneath the rocks of the first cataract. This image is reliefed on the walls of Hadrian Gate in Philae Temple, existing on another famous island among the islands of the cataracts of Egypt. Thank you.